All right, good day everyone. This is uh, Michael from Bro JMR, and I'm doing something a little different today. Um, I'm doing a toy review. Um, apparently, little little Luna here, say hi, and is going to help out because she was on the table when I set it up. Um, <clears throat> this is a package that I received from Kobe Toys LLC. And um, again, like I said, I've, I have never done a toy review before. And so I don't even know if it's gonna make it to air. So if it does, that means the cat didn't knock everything over and it worked out. But if you don't see it, then it's because, um, yeah, it's because it didn't work out. But either way, I'm really excited about this. Um, as you can see, you can't really see, behind me too much but I'm huge into Legos and on Prime Day I went searching um, Amazon for Legos and I came across this it's, it's not exactly Lego but it's something that I've never heard of before and I'm weary of like Chinese cheap knockoff Legos so I did some research on this and um, it seemed to be pretty legit so we're gonna take a open it, take a look at it, take a look at the packaging, and um, take a look at it when it's put together. So so far, packaging is great. Um, it's well protected. It's shrink wrapped. It comes with uh, some advertisements. Here you go, kid. Again, it's like I said, it's, this is uh, Kobe, um, Co Kobe Toys, and they are, if my research tells me correctly, which I don't think, see why it wouldn't, it is a Polish Lego company, Lego, uh, a Polish toy brick company. And from everything that I've seen is they are uh, just as good as quality as um, Lego is. Um, so I'm kind of excited about this. Um, this was made in Poland. You can see, um, on the sticker, I'll show it to you in a minute. This is my, um, my, uh, receipt. And we have an advertisement, um, for some other sets. Look through here. It's a lot of, like, um, military-based sets, um, historical... Uh, World War II, World War I, um, different historical vehicles, tanks, cars, planes, um, battleships. So depending on how this turns out, I, I may I made an order some more from here. So we'll take a look and see. I'm looking at these cars. These cars are actually really kind of nice. Um, so we'll take a look and see. But what I have today is uh, a Tomcat, F-14A Tomcat from Top Gun. This is officially licensed uh, by Paramount. It has, um, there we go. It has a little, a little goose and a little uh, Maverick um, figurine. And um, let's see, how many pieces is it? I want to say it's like 700 and something. 759 pieces with two minifigs. Um, there, it's pad printed. There is no sticker, so I already like that. Um, it does have a stand. It is 15 inches by 4 inches. Um, the wheels move, the wings move. Um, so I'm really excited about this. So um, let's open it up and take a look. EU symbol made in Poland. So let's open this sucker up and see something. I don't want a damaged box.
first, let's take a look at the book. The book looks pretty standard. Doesn't look too bad. Um, I am concerned that it only has two bags, two numbered bags. But I don't know if, what that means. If it's just going to be one big build, or if it's going to be broken up into small sections. Yeah, apparently it's... You just dump everything out, apparently. And... Maybe ish, maybe, maybe um, issues with the coloring in the book. I mean, I mean, it looks good, but all the pieces kind of look alike to me, and I may have issues with the coloring on it. But um, we'll see. Let's start out with bag one. Okay, so they have, kind of have them broken down into like shapes, it looks like. But still, either way, we're going to have to dump all these out. Yep, we're going to have to dump all these out. Yep. I have to do, so we're going to have to go get a bag. A, bucket to put these in. We'll be back. All right, so as you can see, I'm wearing different clothes. I look different um, since, you know, a few seconds ago. But I've had this finished for quite a while, uh, a couple weeks at least. I just haven't had time to finish shooting this video. So um, let's go over the plane itself. Um, you can see it's moving around. It's flying. Um, so let's take a look at this, and then I'll come back and tell you my overall final thoughts. All right, so here is the F-14A Tomcat Top Gun in its completion. Um, it's quite large. It will not fit in the frame of, it almost won't fit in frame. Um, the detail is really amazing on it. Um, printed stickers, or printed uh, pieces. No stickers, which, uh, which I love. Um, frankly, I hate stickers on Legos. Uh, canopy opens and it does have like the air uh, vent uh, the air tubes for the pilots um, wings do move out into the different positions as is authentic with the F 14. The um, uh, the tail uh, tail wings do move as well. 
really neat. Um, let's flip it over. Take a look at the underneath. Removable whip missiles. Um, wheels do fold back. These wheels do come off. It does come with a stand, which is quite flimsy. As you can see, it does not hold it very sturdy. Uh, one of the biggest complaints that I've seen on reviews about these are the quote unquote minifigs. And they're not exactly minifigs, but here's what they look like. Here is, uh, here's Goose. Uh, the, uh, the, the detail is really, really great. And then here's Maverick. Again, his detail is really good. I said I've, we've had some complaints. I've seen some complaints about how the fact that they're not minifigs, but they are pretty close to the Lego Friends minifigs. I mean, they are real, 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 real close. Um, in fact, Miss Girl could, you know, probably go on a date with one of these two. Well, not Goose, because he's dead. But... Uh, and one other complaint that I had about these uh, is the minifigs are a little difficult to get into the cockpit, uh, especially Goose. I had a lot of problems with Goose, the way the cockpit was set up with getting him connected to his air vent or to his uh, oxygen supply because it just keeps it breaks no it does not stay on very tight and he doesn't sit in there real real good um the maverick minifig yes he sat in there real easy his was pretty easy to get in There we go, 20 minutes later. Um, so that's what they look like sitting in the plane. So overall, I'm impressed. The missiles do detach so you can fire them. This is not what I would call a play set. This is more of a display set. So here are my final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts on this. Would I build another one of these sets again? Yes, I would. Um, I thought it was a fun build. Um, there are some complaints that I have about uh, the set in general. Um, number one is I've been spoiled by Lego and having individually numbered bags for steps. I used to just dump the bags and just hunt through everything until I found the piece. But while that was fun, it was a little frustrating. Um, Whereas on this set, it's just two numbered bags and all the pieces are in individual bags or in smaller bags, but there's no rhyme or reason to it. So that being said, you're going to need to dump all the bags and sort all the pieces before um, you can even get started. Um, in this particular model, all the cases, all the pieces are the same color, with the exception of a few 
different colored pieces. Um, so that made it a little hard to see the difference in some of the pieces. Um, but other than that, that was my main complaint about the build. Um, things that I do like about this set, I like the fact that it's all printed pieces. There is no stickers. I hate stickers. I hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. And the other thing that, um, of course, for especially for this model, is the stand is too thin. It is not sturdy. The plane is not sturdy on it. But if you, you know, set, just have the plane sitting down on its wheels, that's one thing. But if you're going to put it uh, up displayed, warning, it does move around a lot. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this review of the uh, Kobe um, F-14 uh, Top Gun airplane. And um, be sure to join back uh, next time. I'm not sure what the next video is going to be. Probably an unboxing of some sort. And so be sure to like, subscribe, and check everything out. Have a good evening. If you like these Lego build review things, um, let me know in the comments, and I will do some more of these. So thanks for watching, and bless you.